Rick Ross, Freeway, babe. What's up, y'all? Oh, what's the connection? <laughs> okay. no, it's just a connection. It's just a connection. I like the jacket he made. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Well, I need one. Hey, yeah, you, know, you know, the first time me and you met, you, yep. was, you was doing that interview on, on me and Floyd. Remember you remember that? In the barbershop. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Oscar. Exactly. Right I got a photograph of memory. <laughs> last time I seen you was November 20th when uh, Crawford yep. and uh, Porter had for me. That was the last time I seen you. I'm really excited you're on the car. Mm -hmm. It's great. Um, tell me about the main event. What do you guys think? What happens? Knockout. Fifth or sixth round, Javante Tick Davis. I'm going with what Ann said. You know, I, you know, I ain't no boxing expert. I just, I he know how to make the money. Overnight. I know how to make the money. <laughs> and I done learned that jab, too. See, you got, you got to keep that jab working. Yeah, but you know about it. And you got to jab from both sides. I've seen you in the You know how to side with talent. I'm learning. I'm learning. Obviously, Tay, when he was a kid, told me he looked up to you and your brother. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. First time you met him, what did you see? I saw myself outside of myself. I saw a little bit of extra dosage of ferociousness, though. I've never seen a kid outside <laughs> of myself with that much tenacity. <laughs> and he showed that. And, and I told Tyson. him. Yes, when I saw him as a kid, I said, when you get older, boy, Boy, Jordan, How old was he when you first met him? Uh, he was, he, this was uh, 2006. 16 no, this was 2005, so he was 10 years old. 17 years old. Yep, 17 years old. And then as you stayed in touch with him over the years, what do you say about the stars? He's one of the most yep, I watched him get a little fuzz on it. I remember one time he came with a little hickey on his neck. He was like 14. <laughs> he came on Sugar Ray Ninja, he had like a little hickey on his neck. I was like, boy, you watch them girls, boy. Okay, time out. You know what it could have been? Could have been the headgear. Because I've, uh, I've seen people get it from the I headgear. know a hickey when I see a hickey. Hold on. He had a hickey. Oh, 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 oh. Sam Weston. Sam. We don't know. What, okay, here, let me ask. Brad, quick question for you. He said that when Tank was 14 years old, he showed up to the gym with a hickey. And I Not said at the gym, at Sugar Ray Little gym at the fight, he had a little hickey on his But head. I'm saying it wasn't a hickey. I said it's from the headgear. The headgear rubs on you sometimes. Nah, I, I know a hickey <laughs> when I see a hickey. But what did you tell him when he saw the hickey? I said, I told him, I said, been watching the girl. I don't know if you remember. This was like 07, 06. He was like 13, <laughs> coming, coming to man. And uh, he had a little hickey on his neck. I seen it. I said, man, what you doing with the He was like, <laughs> Like, go ahead, you know what I mean? Like, and then a year later, the infamous picture you see with me, Tom Ty Barnett, Lamar Peterson. Um, he actually fought that man. He was fighting a guy that can kind of fight. We seen us come through that door, Tank blew him out of the out of the, out of the board. And now you're in the same part with him. That's wild. Yeah, and then, ho, ho. Uh, 2013, February 22nd, he made his debut on Lamar Peterson undercover when he fought Kevin Hawk. He made his debut, AJ Broner walked him out. 126. Fast, fast forward 10 years later. You see that? Nice, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Pay back, <laughs> pay back. That's what everybody should. <laughs> See, they should. All, everybody should start practicing that. Pain give back forward. to the people that give to you. Always give back. Sometimes. Always. And I appreciate that. I want to give a, a, a special shout out to Tank. Personally, um, you, you shocked the shit out of me. I knew you would do it eventually, but just hearing my man, my brother's name like that, and it's been a long time since somebody said my name like that. And uh, man, ever since he said that. Uh, all my interviews been going up. Uh, nice. Lad TV, uh, all my little interviews have made like 34,000 views now. Uh, 78 uh, uh, comments and all that. So shout out to Shorty, man. I appreciate it. So you proud of Tango what he's achieved? Very proud. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, but not surprised. Because I knew all the stuff he's doing now was going to eventually happen. If he, if he, I didn't think that, oh yeah, if you go out and do some of the streets or you gotta stay sane. I already knew okay, I mean, Calvin and them was gonna look out for me, he was gonna be good. You live in DC, born in DC, raised in DC? Mm -hmm. How many times have you been to the White House? Never. <laughs> Why not? I ain't even been 500 feet near that goddamn White House. Ain't nothing to, nothing against it, but it's, I'm, 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 it's home. Like when I went to LA, I'm like, man, take me this. They like, man. <laughs> I've been you mean taking Universal and, and Disneyland and all that? <laughs> yeah, he want to go to the beach, run there. Yeah, he want to go run the sand dunes. Yeah, I just want to take him on that my sand shirt off and go in the sand and just jog. <laughs> hey, 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 tell me about that, that, that sand dune. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That sand hill, a lot of Ezekiel Elliott, a lot of football players you see with them big legs, they run that hill. And that hill is, if you follow me on Instagram, like my ninth picture that I, uh, that I post, is on there, serious. Yo, yeah, well, you love training anyway. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's I mean, that's all you do. Hey, uh oh. What's your Peterson favorite brother. moment with Rick? What's your favorite moment with Peterson? Well, the Peterson brothers, he finna go to work. He's, he been, he been fighting on and off. He finna go to work. He, he serious. This mother here, this mother here, uh, this mother right here. Yeah. I can't custom that right now. <laughs> um, Rick Ross used to own the whole city of L.A. And he was, a, but he was a tennis player. And, and everybody thought he was a square. 
but he was getting all the money. <laughs> him, and, him and Cadillac Willie. Cadillac Willie passed on. My Willie really was still living. That's my man. Willie had his crew. He had his crew. Everybody had a crew in LA. Yep, yep. And well, Sam, Sam stuck with this boxing yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, but he wasn't even born. This was Peterson Brothers. I remember when they first came, I remember y'all was in Memphis one time, mm -hmm. killing them, whooping on everybody in Memphis. Y'all fought a dude with, they fought a dude with no, with one eye. They had him fighting. <laughs> how do you get him? No, no, no. Damn, they like that down in Mississippi, though. You know, you fought everybody down there. Yeah, yeah. You're doing a great job, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, no, man, I didn't see you. Two Rick Rosses. Two Rick Rosses. The real Rick Rosses. The real Rick Rosses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the real Rick Rosses. You reached out to Mikey Garcia, you did for me. Uh, when he was starting his promotion. Oh yeah, well he wanted to fight anybody now. One thing about music, he yeah, knows yeah, he, 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 he ain't ducking no okay. he ain't ducking no wreck. Best fighter of all time. Yeah. Mm. Muhammad Ali. Floyd Mayweather. Mm. There you have it. Maybe you and Floyd in an exhibition. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> but he won't. He won't. <laughs> you won't love it, Floyd. And I'll be boxing. So I'll Rick, are you a, a promoter, you manager? Like, what what do you do in the boxing game? Oh, they call me Uncle Rick. Oh, Uncle, Uncle Rick. Rick. <laughs> Just get it Some done. Some people call me Grandpa Rick. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But uh, right. <laughs> my, my game is to show these guys what I do. Okay. You know, I, I don't know. I, I can't even explain what I do. You know what I'm saying? I just make stuff happen. You know, like I make things big. And, and that's what I'm going to do in boxing. I'm going to make boxing bigger than what it is right now. I think that, that some new energy needs to be added to the game. Mm -hmm. And I think that I'm that energy, you know. And, and bring and, fairness to the game. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that, that it's, it's starting to be obvious, you know, with what I did with Kid Austin. You right. Know, where he's at right now in his career and, and what we're doing right now with Ann Career. Uh, you know, Ann wants some of the biggest fights in, 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 the, in the business. He, he said that uh, this year he don't care who it is. You know, he wants some wreck. He don't look at it. He's not worried about winning and losing. He's more worried about getting the wreck in and and, and, and exercising his talent. Mm -hmm. He called performing. Is that woman? He, he performs. He don't fight. So you know, I'm not confrontation. He fight. And he stays in shape. 24-7. That's one thing I, I ain't got to lift my shirt up no more. I got to do it be like this. We already know what's underneath there, bro. We know how you get down. You train. You always running through D.C. So now what, what our goal is now with Ant, because, see, see anybody who fight Ant right now, the only thing they got to look forward to is an ass whooping. That's right. So what we got to do now is make it so when Ann come to the table, also some money going to be there for you him as well. You will get a reward as well. So, so you, <laughs> we, you we ain't going to just give him no ass whooping. <laughs> we want to give him some money too. So we're going to build him up. And a little bit of popularity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we build him up so where when they come, you know, they're going to make some money. It's going to be a money fight. And that's what it's all about, man. Yeah. Making sure that you're able to take care of your children, man. Feed the family. You know what I mean? And everything sure. be fair. Because this is it's a rough game, this boxing game, man. Yes, so I'm glad does. that he's with you, man. And that you're going to be able to, to propel him in life in this particular uh, boxing game. Nice. Yeah. That's that option. You know, we're from D.C. You know how we do, man. <laughs> you ready? You ready for your Well, listen there. It was a pleasure, fellas. You all take it easy, man. Thank you.